Welcome to our online English class. In today's class, we are going to learn a new poem, The Dreamer. Students, you all take your textbook. Now, as I read the poem, I need you all to listen and read along with me. Come on. Dear students, take page number 101 and read the poem along with me. The Dreamer. Imagine there is no diversity. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. Am I a dreamer? I hope not the only one. Will you join me to make the world as one? Imagine all that belongs to you is shared. I wonder if you can. No need for greed or hunger. Am I a dreamer? I hope not the only one. Will you join me to make the world as one? The poet asks us to imagine what will happen if there is no diversity. Diversity means difference. You all think if there is no difference among countries, what will happen? We'll all have peace, isn't it? For sure, if we have peace, a soldiers, they don't have to die. A soldiers, they will not be killed. That's why the Poet of this poem, he asks us to think. The speaker of this poem asks us to imagine such thing. Come on, now let's read the second stanza and I'll give you explanation for that. Am I a dreamer? I hope not the only one. Will you join me to make the world as one? The poet is asking a question. Am I a dreamer? Usually we will have dreams and most of our dreams, it will never happen, it will stay only as dream, isn't it? So the poet is asking, am I a dreamer? Do you think I am a dreamer? Why don't you come and join us? You should also think that we should stay united. The whole world should be one without any diversity. Come on, now let's see the explanation for the third stanza. Imagine all that belongs to you is shared. I wonder if you can. No need for greed or hunger. The poet asks us to imagine again. If you all start sharing, what will happen? People can remain without hunger. People could remain without greediness. People will have everything sufficiently if you share whatever you have with each other. This is what this poet expects us in this poem. Now let's see explanation for the fourth stanza. Am I a dreamer? I hope not the only one. Will you join me to make the world as one? Dear children, though you are small, I request you all to be united. Wherever you go, just try to be loving and friendly to others. Help each other and spread Kindness everywhere. Dear children, I am sure you would have all learnt about pronoun already. Let's learn little more about pronoun today. Pronoun is a word which is used instead of noun. Here an example is given. Albert is playing cricket. He is playing with his friends. In the first sentence, Albert is a proper noun. And in the second sentence, when we are using words like he and his, it refers to this Albert. These words he and his are the pronouns used in this sentence. Come on, let's see about subject pronoun and object pronoun in detail now. Words like I, we, you, they, he, she and it are always used in the place of a subject in a sentence. So they are known as subject pronoun. Similarly, words like me, us, you, them, him, her and it are used in the place of an object and these words are known as object pronoun. Let's see two examples for this. He took his car and went to the hospital. She bought a new dress for her birthday. In the first sentence, he is a subject pronoun. And it is used in the place of the subject of the sentence. Similarly, his is an object pronoun and we have used in the place of the object. 
Similarly, in the next sentence, she takes the position of subject pronoun and her takes the position of the object pronoun. Now, let's see about possessive adjective and reflexive pronoun. A reflexive pronoun is used when something does something to itself. So, now let's see the words which are used as reflexive pronoun. Myself, ourselves, yourself, yourselves, themselves, himself, herself, itself. These were the words for reflexive pronoun. Dear children, today's homework is on the board. Kindly do the homework on time without any delay. Take a snapshot of your homework and send it to your respective teacher on time. With this note, I am winding up today's class. I'll meet you all in my next class. Until then, it's bye from Vibama. Ma'am.